it because at the 2GG Championship, Wadi was able to take it, I believe, 3-1 over uh, Boyd. Boyd at the championship. A good a good thing about here, Wadi, too, is we did see Wadi has been coming to SoCal for a hot minute. You know, uh, we do see his IRL, his uh, his anime IRL girl in the background that is Senpai. So they both have been doing a lot of work around the general area between here at Las Vegas and SoCal. Um, last time he was here in SoCal, man, he was the rat killer. He, he definitely beat out a lot of... Pichu was out in the MSM, you know, last season, but immediately Void says, you know what, no, no, no Peach, only Sheik, let's go. What year is this? <laughs> what year is this? Do you see that Sheik Void yeah. right you know, now? Let me give you a little bit of a fun fact. The reason why he actually uses that skin of Peach, uh, Pichu specifically, it's the same color of Scarf that Sheik has in, this, in the color. Oh, I see, I see. Yeah, that's why he uses that color skin for Pichu. Okay. It's, it's a nod to the fact that he misses Sheik. So you can see the Scarf right there. Mm -hmm. All right, let's see how this goes down then. I'm excited to see. I mean, Sheik did s receive a significant fair buff. Yeah. Uh, the hitbox is a lot larger, uh, and uh, people like Mr. R have been saying that that buff is much more significant than people may lead on to believe in the yeah. beginning. And, and we even we even saw Wadi using Weefa Trainer, understanding the Weefa Trainer buff. Yo, man, he made SoCal look free. But <laughs> Weefa Trainer. Yeah, he lost one whole game that MSM and Sashine. Yeah. Not even our PR players there could take a game. But anyways, that doesn't matter. What matters right now is that we have Void Sheik right here, and Augury Gaming's Wadi gonna be able to take it on here on Pokemon Stadium. All right, forward air, looking for the classic Void, go for the grab, man. Even Chris Pratt is excited to see the Sheik out here in the play. Thank you so much. Yet once again, Wild Monk SFV with a $100 donation, man. Enough to bring Void Sheik out of retirement. Yeah, oh, the trips come in, though. He's gonna catch him out already, and then the up throw. Oh, look for the landing, right? Right after the bats, a fish, solid option from Wadi. Goes where he wants to go for. Yeah, I think this is still kind of the bane of Sheik, but still working out with these dragon oh, okay. upper combos, putting him at the corner, and this time Wadi finally decides to DI out his hand. I didn't want to go off stage, but you know what? I think I have no choice but to accept it because these uh, up air strings are doing too much for Void right now. Yeah, come back to the ledge. Look at where you feel safe. Oh, bounce, you know, no needles, only bouncing fish. Able to confirm that Wadi had pulled back a little bit into the range of bouncing fish, unfortunately. Yo, is this a return of the Void Sheik? Like, I'll tell right you, now, man. He's they, looking they, really clean right they, now. They, they donated that cash for a reason. They were they were able to donate enough money to put this Sheik out of the Tierney Center for Veteran Services retirement. Yeah. Shout out, man. All right, but here we go. Okay. Okay. Offstage one more time. What's the play going to be? The ledge uh, traps. Normal. Sheik, of course, has always, always been good at that. So going to be able to just catch him and just continue on with a big conversion. He was the roll get up. You know what's crazy, man? It was only a buff to fair. <laughs> and look at how, look at, it's enough, it's enough to act like you, meant, like you mentioned it, right? Mr. R says that fair buff, significant buff to Sheik. And it puts boy Sheik out of retirement. Back air, careful at the ledge, man. The corner may be your area, but you're not safe all along. How does he get out of the ledge? Oh, the needles to cover him as he tries to rise in the air with the neutral air to try and catch him again. Very smart stuff coming from Sheik to be able to deny what Wadi was looking for. Okay. Just uses the double vanish, able to use that intangibility, get it right around. Still tacking on the damage, and all of a sudden it looks like the backwards should be percent in this kind of scenario. Usually the enemy of Sheik is the one that's at 160%, but Wadi right now can't, yeah. just can't catch this ninja. And not only that, we also saw the buff significantly out there for Sheik for bouncing, uh, for Needle's Charge. It's actually a lot faster. Mm -hmm. All right, put, sees the fair man, pressure, puts a little pressure on the shield, doesn't see a follow up here, but Wadi with the down throw, not able to go around Sheik. Oh man, the tyranny of Sheik has returned, unfortunately. All right, the fair strings put him off stage one more time. Big opportunity for a big less trap. Even the gyro can't save Wadi right now, but again, that nair, that hitbox nice. is so the big. Trip, and he falls through with it, corner carry, but not able to capitalize. Oh, he catches the directional air dodge. Oh, he went deep for it. Still trying to go for it using that vanish hitbox, but Wadi not quite going to be in the right position. Oh. Waiting for that option. No double jump, but he lands back on the stage just fine. I see this Rob, but if I were Wadi, right, and if I'm feeling, if I'm not feeling the sh against the Sheik, man, I go to weak fake <laughs> down throw. I like that. He doesn't see any option, right? So he just waits to see how Void is going to react. Yo, man, and no tech on that platform, that sweet spot from the up smash. And even Wadi pulls back, he's like, what is, man, what is this? Yo, yeah, man, he's been doing that since Smash 4. Down tilt, tech chase situation on a platform, the no tech, the up smash, the free. The, the tyranny of Sheik has a turn now. Yeah. I'm, not, I'm not happy. Looking really nice. I mean, what better person to be able to just see what Sheik can do besides yeah. 
a character like Void. And what a good way to put it into perspective here. It's Roddy, not only Waddy, but Round Robin. So this is actually Void's last game because we have, we have two players, stay for two games, and then they rotate out. Um, to, uh, thank no, you, Wadi. Yeah, no way. I, yeah, I the Wii Fit? Yeah. The Wii Fit's coming out. Yeah. I mean, I, I, w I wasn't sure how it worked. I'm not going to lie. Some people tell me differently every now and then, but some people actually believe in Smash 4. Wii Fit Trainer actually had a solid matchup against uh, Sheik. It just wasn't really known. Yeah, I mean, who else played Wii Fit besides, like, John Numbers from yeah. what I remember in Smash even, 4? He doesn't even play Wii Fit anymore, man. <laughs> yeah, that, 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 that ship has sailed already. Yeah. But, oh, oh, rising with the Salute the Sun. Already doing a nice amount of damage, and the berry that did receive a significant buff as yeah. well. The amount of time that you stay buried is a little bit longer now, so. Oh man, that sucks, man. You try to go for the volleyball, but he's playing soccer with that neutral air, and it bounces back to your face. No needles, all the bouncy fish. It's, I like how Void's still going for that, because even then, he still gets a follow from a different move. Try to snipe him out, force him to go low. The sun salutation, not quite gonna be able to find anything. Raised with the $100 donation. Thanks so much, and right now, also at 100 is Sheik's, or Void's Sheik right now at 100%. But well, let's see who's going to be able to close out the stock first. Oh, Wadi with the air dodge. Watch out. Uses that volleyball to make sure he stalls us up for just a second. The crazy thing about Wii Fit's directional air dodge, too, is that it actually moves her. Not only you're able to get invincibility things, but you move your hurtbox a little bit, too. Okay, Sun Salutation. That will be able to close it out point blank. And right now, he's got the deep breathing buff oh. as well. Oh, but the needle to bouncing fish not going to be able to connect. Uh, I mean, I know you guys are all a fan of Sheik's uh, Void Sheik, but I'm just happy that doesn't... Oh, no. Got the cross-up DI. Very nice stuff. That's still a thing in this game, too. So right now, even game between these two. No berry. Yeah, I'm curious if that would actually spike, but I, I mean, only berry. I feel like it won't. It just yeah. sends you off stage, probably. All right, landing neutral air, no cross up. It's just in front of Void, able to move away. Yeah, right now, Wadi's being a little bit difficult to catch, but uh, that time around, finally gonna catch him, 31%. I like the fact that Void took out Nair immediately afterwards because it's good, it's got a lasting hitbox. Not only that though, we saw how that played out between the volleyball. Mm -hmm. So he makes sure he has one option cover, man. You run in, no shield, only the sun in your face. Oh yeah, he's just trying to find those Nair Crunches. Of course, that back hitbox of the fair will be able to spike, and he almost got a setup off of that. Watch the Random landing, Wadi. Random with the $5 donation. Thanks so much again. No grab. I like the back air, though. He sees the fact that Void's right behind him, trying to go for a safe option. You saw that earlier, right? Able to move. He not only moves a little bit away with directional air dodge, he moves the hurtbox. Back air, and Void is now down to stock with Wadi 82%. Yeah, Boy tried to read like three different things there with that trying to get that up smash on the platform. Yeah. He said there was no tech, uh, but that didn't quite happen. Then he tried to bait him out with the spot dodge or something. That didn't quite happen either, and he's actually going to lose the stock because of it. But the up smash will be able to take it out. And that mark with a C <laughs> donated $15. <laughs> Thanks so much. <laughs> Uh, here's a string from Void, but Wadi narrowly escapes him, but he runs himself right back in with careful Wadi. At this point, I, 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 it's kind of funny, but Void's actually just swinging that forward air, but Wadi knows if I get caught by that, I'm taking some solid percent and I'm getting corner carried. I don't want to face that. See what I'm saying? He's swinging it, but he knows he gets a corner carry, he gets percent. Oh, the Nair Crunch to be able to protect himself at the ledge, actually. That was yes. enough to be able to catch Sheik. Oh, Wadi's stuck at the... Oh, no! That was nice. That yeah. was really nice. <laughs> and Wadi even, Wadi's even like, oh, yeah, that was nice. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone's impressed. The only one that doesn't look impressed is Void. He's like, yeah, yeah I knew that all along. I was no, no, no. That. He, no, I, I kind of saw Void trying to play. I was like, that was, that was good. Yeah, I, I was going for that. I was going for that. <laughs> oh, my yeah, God. Yeah, yeah. yeah she, similar she, property she to, in, Similar talk property in. to, what is it, uh, Zero Suit Downer. You know, yeah. it will spike. And if you catch it while facing the inside of the stage, yeah, you'll be able to get it especially if their hitbox is protruding out while they're trying to get to the ledge. But here we go. Void up 2-0 against Wadi. Looking much better than they did at the championship already. <laughs> so he's getting the run back that he wanted. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yo, that, was, that was Smash 4 days. That was Smash 4 days. We're out here in Ultimate, and this Sheik definitely feeling like Hey, man, whatever it takes. <laughs> what, yeah, <laughs> Avenge man, the back. Fall. Avenge the Fallen, whatever it takes. <laughs> Sheik is back, bro. Sheik is back for Smash 4, man. All right, anyways, here we go. <laughs> this Sheik is stay falling. That character was bust. You know, it really hurts to get corner carried every game. Yeah, but right now, it looks like already getting the corner carry. Gonna be able to put him off stage. And Wadi just trying to play at the ledge right now. I mean, that was one of Wii Fit's strengths. 
in Smash 4, and it works yeah. in this game too because of the you know the soccer ball things like that. Able to do ledge play even when he's in a disadvantaged position. Oh, that tra that tragic grab range, unfortunate for Weepa Trainer. Now he's just <laughs> getting sauce all over the stage right now. Void just complete control of the match so far. I mean, you give Void a game, right? He gets more momentum. He gets all. He gets literally just about everything. And he knows he has to stay on top of Wadi. It's the berry, no follow-up. I like the fact that Wadi was really well aware of the pop-up after the berry. And I like that Void has been kind of keeping his Smash 4 muscle memory at bay. You know, he went for the bear, and then in the Smash 4 opportunity, that would have been a bouncing fish, but he yeah. just knows that's not true anymore. So he waited for the better opportunity and got that forward smash to the ledge instead. Back hit of jab there, able to just pull Void a little bit off the stage. Wadi looks to cover that at the ledge. Here's the corner, but Void gets right back out and switch sides, but immediately Wadi goes back to the original side he was at. This is big carry and big damage. 61% Wadi with a stock yet to have been taken. Yeah, already looking not too good for Wadi right now. Oh, watch the landing, Wadi. Watch, there it is. <laughs> okay, time to direction our air dodge to be able to get through. I thought it was a pressure situation, and he was going to get hit by that completely. Not quite, though. Gonna get clipped by that soccer ball and the forward air as well. Pick him up. I, oh. I like it because he was looking to see how Wadi was gonna land and he knows he's been using directional air dodge. I feel like that dash attack was actually supposed to be like pivot F smash or something like that, but didn't quite get that. Maybe just uh, inputted it incorrectly, it still wasn't the initial dash. Not quite gonna work out there, but still 121% onto Void. He's surviving very nicely against. We fit trainer almost caught him on the landing too, but still keeping up the control. The bouncing fish for the pressure, put him off stage, and the tech too on the soccer ball. Very nice. He was expecting it. Oh, the forward tilt, knowing that Void was gonna right back, go right back to the scene of the crime after he charged the needles. <laughs> Trying to end his life again with another dare. Not quite working out that time around. Needles, no bouncing fish, and Millie sees the shield. Angles the shield too as well because he knows I gotta make sure I don't get shield poked. But I think after the shield buffs from projectiles, we don't really see too much shield poking as often. Mm -hmm. A lot of projectiles were nerfed against shield. Oh, oh. tried to break dance on him, but he didn't quite reach the ground yet. Trying to get the up smash out of shield as well. Still not working out, but let's see how this goes. That'll be able to do it. Not quite. I've seen Charlie get down to the up air and kill lots of times, but I guess just not quite enough percent. So yeah. he's got the control, so that's the important part. Okay, I like it. Wait for the needles and the back air. Wadi at 140, but not giving up. Two stocks in his hands. He put Void on the back foot. Did you see that kill? That yeah. Nair crunch in the back air. Oh, he was <laughs> at like 80 at the end of that. That was crazy. Oh my god. The deep breathing, man. It just does things to you. It'd really be hidden different. Oh, here we go. I like how he just goes far off and goes for the deep breathing because he knows if Void's going to go far, he has a way better recovery than Sheik would with Vanish. Mm -hmm. Right. And the fact that he's able to stall himself a little bit from going low with the deep breathing. Oh, great DI. You're not quite going to be able to find out the stock. This is what I was talking about. She having a little bit of a hard time killing around 160%. And all of a sudden, at kill percent right now for Wadi. If he gets one more deep breathing or another Nair Crunch. Oh, oh that's going to spike. And that's going to be able to do it. Yo, what a comeback. And the pop-off from Simpai in the background. Yo, man, don't doubt. Look, look at this smug face. Look at this smug face. He's like, all right. All right, I got it. Look at this. <laughs> you spiked me last game. I spiked. This is a smug face. Wadi, is, from what I've seen, rarely pops off. Usually, Senpai's the one doing it yeah, for yeah. him. She does the pop off for him, man. Yeah. Same with the uh, boy. Uh, he does pop off occasionally, but I feel like most of the time Charles is the one that's like, yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> No, Void has a Tiger Woods pop off. That's what he has, man. He has a Tiger Woods pop off. The small fist bump. Yeah, yeah, I got it. I got it. <laughs> All right, but here we go. We're moving on to FD. This was a very strong stage for Sheik and Smash 4. I feel like just in theory it should play out the same way. You can get corner carries very easily, but not quite going to be able to get it that time around. Just right outside of the fair hitbox that yeah. time around. Once again, like you mentioned earlier, man, the corner carry is pretty significant. Void showing Wadi all about how Final Destination and how big it is. Kind of took him around all the sides. Yep. And I like that uh, a lot of people were complaining that Sheik doesn't quite have the combos anymore. But all of a sudden, the drag down up air combos looking real nice. I, I low-key low know that was a Smash 4 thing. 
But I feel like he, he probably looked at Joker and he's like, I wonder if she could do the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, Mido's a bouncing fish. And I think one of the big factors is that a lot of Sheiks, when they try to get that combo and they notice that their opponent falls out, they try to continue the combo anyway. Mm -hmm. But Void, he just double jumps and bouncing fishes out of the way. Sheik has the tools to be able to put himself back in a better position. Same with Zero Suit, who also had a very significant nerf in this game, but he, they both have the movement options that all of a sudden when they know that they can't push any further, they can get out of there immediately. I mean, Zero Suit's still, in my opinion, Zero Suit's like still a high tier character, probably back to the, at the same level that Zero Suit was in Smash 4. It's just a lot of work, and I feel that in the meta, some players don't want to put in that work, but we see Mars always representing Zero Suit, and now we're seeing Void coming back with the Sheik. Here's the drag down yet again, follow up, corner carry, and he nearly tries to respond from the end leg of the volleyball with the forward smash, it's not going to pay off. Yeah, not quite going to be able to get that forward smash at the ledge. Get sniped out there. I don't think he has a bouncing fish, but he kept his double jump the whole time, and the down smash is going to get interrupted there by the vanish. I mean, why he's down in the percent, but we saw how <laughs> Oh yeah, that was good, bro. No, he saw that because he, he, he tried to do the t schmix right yeah. there. <laughs> Not quite going to be able to work out, though. Waddy saw that, though. I, I respect him because he knew, okay, dash dance, and he's looking for a follow-up. Dash attack, he gets him at the ledge. Caught the man slipping at the corner. All right, forward tilt in there. Yeah, deep breathing. And that one took a little bit longer because yeah, I think he already had another yeah, one. Yeah, he, he used it a little bit too often, and that causes the circle to slow down a little bit. Oh, the fourth oh, smash. read on the landing here. Wadi making big plays. Let's come back around. Dash attack rolls out of the commitment immediately. Checks the shield, but nothing from there. Sees a cross up, raise the back air. Wadi with some solid coverage here, bringing it right back. All of the work that Void has done, man. I mean, plays like Smash 4, feels like Smash 4 chic. And Void <laughs> not able to kill. And the volleyball able to kill. <laughs> Yeah, that's going to be able to take it out again. Oh, Wadi uh, just running right into it. That was good because he was shit about the ledge either way. Oh, my gosh. Alrighty, let's see if he can try to close out the stock. Oh, the break dance, but it turns up to the other side. So unfortunate. He had the right idea, and that's going to clank out with the sun salutation and the volleyball. Already 55% onto Void Sheik right here. Back throw. Okay. Uh, the dare one more time. Another opportunity. Puts him off stage. Not quite. Oh, uh, yeah. Couldn't okay. take that one. Attackable. I like it, though, because Wadi, Wadi went for that attempt, possibly feeling safe for the fact that he's been able to come back from such a depth with the recovery back air. He sees that cross off Wadi making the plays here yet again. Forward air, volleyball setup, and he's out there fishing for the kill here, but he's not able to find it. Yeah, yeah. Okay, deep breathing is finally gone. And you see oh, he's looking for it. Cancels. The pressure comes out. Yeah, cancels it into shield. But the jab comes in. He's able to get a little bit more positioning here and try to end his life again with another dare. But it's not quite there for him. It's good for Wadi to still use the volleyball even at the leg because he wants Void to hold shields so and can come back on stage. He wants those shield drop frames to pay in his favor. Ah, uh, we'll get up and Void catches it. Here's the classic Void combo already. Yeah, the eyed a little bit too far out, so not able to get the drag on upper that third time around. Oh, but the parry comes in. How will he end it? Just get the Oh, attack. no tech! No tech, he wasn't ready for it. And Wadi winds himself back. So close. Very nice stuff. Just pressured him off stage, waited out for a directional air dodge. Tried to come back in, but Void just said, nope. You are in too much end lag. We fits very floaty, so he's just going to stay in directional air dodge end yeah. lag for a very long time. And that's going to be it. Just gets that back air clean. Very great uh, comeback there on that last stop. Yeah. Very good comeback. I mean, Wadi not too far behind. He he kind of brought it back because he Wadi had the first dock and he had the first lead. And immediately, Wadi just turned things around on Void. So he...